Drinking water is not safe. Maybe you heard about the Cousseau case here in Denmark, or you know about the Teflon scandal that occurred in the United States a few years ago. If you heard about any of these, you already know about PFAS. PFAS is a family of super persistent micropollutants that for decades have been discharged into the environment. They end up in water, and through water consumption, they can enter our bodies, leading to bioaccumulation and diseases such as cancer, fertility issues, or heart attacks. In the recent times, researchers identified water treatment plants as key points to deal with these micropollutants. However, we have no effective methods to degrade PFAS. And degradation is essential. It's essential because current removing materials generate secondary pollution that we need to deal with. And current removing materials only allow PFAS reinsertion into the environment. So it's critical for us not only to remove, but to destroy PFAS. During my PhD, I identified these limitations and I developed a dual approach based on a concentrate and degraded strategy in one single material. This material is presented in this slide and can be simply added onto a treatment plant process. We can add the material onto a treatment tank of a typical water treatment plant, and it can concentrate the PFAS onto its surface. With this, we can already produce a clean water stream that we are all able to safely drink. However, as you will notice, we still need to deal with a PFAS concentrate, right? And this is where our material has an added value. We can degrade these PFAS with light irradiation. The light irradiation we use is low energy consuming, so, and it's also containing solar light, so we can ensure that we have a green process. The high degradation efficiency of our material allow none of the original PFAS molecules to remain at the end of the degradation process. And this is beneficial because we, it allows us to go to the third step, which is the reusability of our material. With these three simple steps, we ensure circular economy and we allow the PFAS degradation problem to be solved in a green, safe, and low cost manner to ensure that all our drinking water is safe. Thank you very much.